Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, another little questions and answer. A lot of people asking questions and being curious and I will of course once again answer questions here but um, just want to say one thing here. Watch the videos and listen to what I say because this is going to be the last video repeating some of the things that I, I've already talked about but that's because a lot of you are not really watching and listening to what I say. So, okay, first question that I get. How come you've got the April 2019 update? Where did you get it? Well, it's because this is the Insider build, 18.3.6.2. I am a Windows Insider, and this is known to be the official April 2019 update. So, I got it because I'm on the Insider program, and the Insider program delivers this build. Now, we... Uh, are of course still wondering there you know everything's possible with Microsoft it could be another build but one thing for sure that even if there would be another build one of the th things for sure is that there will be um, you know the, the, the features and everything in it will be the same there won't be anything new what you see here is what you're getting on the April 2019 update second why am I not getting it? I check Windows updates and I don't see April 2019 update or whatever showing up because it's not released yet. It's not officially released yet. We don't know when it's going to be released. There's still no official date announced. So don't check for it or don't ask me for links or don't ask me for anything. I will not provide anything. You see it here. You'll get it when you get it. And that's it. I, I find it interesting, a lot of people kind of being obsessed at having the latest version and, and wondering why do you have that version. Well, it's, you know, being an insider, and that's it. And everybody can be an insider. Everybody can turn on the insider rings and uh, decide to be an insider, and that's it. It's, uh, it's, not, a, um, it's not a secret. It's not nothing, uh, you know, that is mysterious. If you would activate insider programs or insider builds within Windows 10, you would be there. Um, and I don't recommend that. I don't recommend it to anybody that just doesn't know that much about what they're doing on their PC. It's very simple. This is not for the faint of heart. There could be something wrong. For example, I know that this is RTM, the official build. But, you know, maybe a glitch will have Microsoft this week say, hey, there's a new build. I'll have to reactivate the fast ring builds and install it again. Because I took the risk so that you guys could see what it looks like. I'm here for that. Let me take the risks. Let me take and show you the stuff. And you know what? Get it. You'll get it when time comes. It just shows up in Windows Update someday on your PC. And that's it. As for um, a lot of people commenting about yesterday, the performance and stuff, saying that Windows 10 is a resource hog. It's not. If you have problems with that, you it, it could be a, a driver, it could be something that's just um, honestly um, making, you know, memory leaks and stuff. Because Windows 10 is uh, not, you know what, Windows 10, the Pro 2019 update, runs as smoothly and as fast as the original Windows 10 of 2015. It's not bigger, it's not bloated. They've added features, they changed stuff, but the core of Windows 10 is still the same. It's still pretty much at the same size. And it just works as well, if not better. And that's it. And, you know, um, every computer is different. There are things that happen that make some PCs run slower than others, depending on what's happening. One of the major problems of people complaining about lag issues or problems in Windows 10 is often either one piece of software you've got installed in it that is actually the uh, software that is a problem or a driver. One of your drivers is outdated or if it's not, it's just one a bad driver for one of your devices, graphics adapter and so on. Uh, but it's actually pretty much at the same level as it was many years ago. Um, concerning uh, the uh, Windows, so the April 2019 update, um, of course, a lot of people say, well, you know, how do you know this is a real deal? Well, you know, it's been two weeks without any updates. 
So we're kind of thinking that this is a real deal for that. Uh, they've stopped re releasing updates for insiders. And we know that the insiders were to have this um, sometime in March. We're now on April 2nd. So, you know, we're there. We're, we're at that, um, that moment. Um, and so unless something really, um, you know, unusual happens that makes another release happen for uh, insiders, um, this is pretty much where we're at. And this is the 2019 update. So, um, you know, we'll continue talking about the features and new features and stuff as time goes by. Uh, a lot of people like to see the new stuff in Windows 10 April 2019 update. If everything goes well, like I said, we don't have an official date, but if everything goes well, this is the month. At some point, we'll have it. And so this will be my last uh, questions and answer because it answers what I get all the time about questions. And if you were not listening or if you didn't watch this video, well, I'm not going to repeat it because um, I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again all the time. Um, you know, there's something about listening to what people say when there's a video. And obviously, a lot of people have difficulty really, uh, you know, listening. Um, I had one comment this morning that was kind of interesting because somebody posted a comment, when will it be released? And um, what was it? Was When will it be released? I'm just trying to... And... Uh, Anyway, somebody commented just below it, well, did you read the title? <laughs> so it should be released sometime in uh, this month. And, you know, that's a lot of the problems of a lot of people watching videos is that they, um, I don't know, they, they focus on something and they don't hear the big picture of everything. So uh, these were the questions and answer. I'm not going to do another one with this. We're going to focus on the new features on the next videos. We're also going to focus and talk about what could happen and when there will be new stuff happening. If, uh, oh, there's one last thing I want to add. I've had two of you uh, telling me that the creative sound card problem is fixed, which means there's only the uh, Realtek SD card reader that still has problems. The Realtek, the um, XFi creative sound card was fixed with a update to the drivers by creative so that apparently is now fixed. There's only the Realtek SD card reader that we're not sure if it's fixed yet. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.